This is me, tired, sweaty, and really terrified, lost in the mountains at night, but let's just take a step back and think about it. Not so far back, like, you know. You know, I've always been a fan of electric vehicles of any kind. I've been hearing a lot about them now. Certainly an excellent method for sustainable travel, yet as with any innovation, there are many individuals who are utilizing them. Let's say badly. So, to raise awareness about these vehicles. I decided to go to Rome on an electric scooter. Really crazy idea which only I can think of. So I did some range tests, prepared the scooter, got a second battery, spare parts, prepared the backpack, called the craziest and most experienced traveler I know, and then set off for an endeavor never attempted before. Hello, it's 8.46 in the morning. We're gonna be riding from Milan to Rome on an electric scooter with our vehicle. Escorted by the Mattia Miraglio on a bicycle in the spirit of environmentally sustainable and electric mobility. Battery at 100% eco mode and energy saving. Heading south. I'm excited! We are officially on the move. Roman gate, bike path. Really so excited for this. First three kilometers are done and everything is going very smoothly. Milan Rogoredo. We're steering clear of the overpass. Train to Rome, off we go. Oh no, it's still all heavy load. Under the overpass, out of Milan. Completed 14 kilometers. Breakfast. Little break. I still have four battery packs left, now we are back on the track. Big road with lots of space though. Wow. It's 10 kilometers to Lodi deserted roads. And yes, we've made it to Lodi. Light lunch. And we just stopped on a bench and we were just waiting for the heat of the central hours to pass, you know. Now I have to change the battery. In fact, to have more autonomy, I took two batteries. The only problem is that to change them, you have to disassemble half of the scooter. And of course, wanting to be 100% autonomous, I have all the extra weight that I would have had in the backpack. Second battery. This here is the pit stop situation. I reconnect and close everything. First pit stop, that's done. And now we have another 40 kilometer of autonomy. Checking the pressure. My back has gone numb. So the goal is to actually cross the Po River by today. Heading towards Piacenza. Hey there! Uh, uh. Half of the first day and we were already feeling emotionally completely drained. The thought of going through another 7, 8 or 10 days like this is just too much. It makes me feel bad. <laughs> it's going to be a long adventure. Mm. But it's so hot. Uh. So we certainly could not give up on the very first day. We were determined to finish what we had started. So we set off again, and we did another 30 kilometer under the sun on practically deserted roads, then we actually got lost to avoid a junction, and now we have to find a way to cross the Po River without going on the highway. And after we went through a tunnel, we finally arrived at a beautiful bike path above the fields that's going to eventually take us to our first stop, you know? We are over the Po River. We triumphantly enter Piacenza. I'm exhausted. First stage. Done. Well spent. Well spent it. We traveled 75 kilometers. Yes, man. Now 600 kilometers to cover. Stretching. The good schnugel came to do a little check. Hey, Jackie. What do you think? Yep, it's good. One interesting thing. Well, I was like constantly annoying him at night, during the day, in the morning, asking him for advice on batteries and on other stuffs. It turned out well, at least. If I makes it to Rome, it will also be thanks to the good schnugel. Pizza eaten, now it's time to sleep early. First day, done. There are definitely more to come, for sure. Like 10 or 15. Perhaps 20, well, not really sure, but we will see how that goes. We need to rest. Ah. Hey, good morning, Piacenza. <sighs> We're back on the move. The second day didn't get off to a great start. Over there is the bypass. There's a sign, no bikes, no pedestrians, and we are heading towards the countryside. Well, I took the opportunity to do a test on the dirt road that would surely have been useful if I ever made it to Tuscany. 
I would say more than past, nothing can really stop us. Back on the main road, but at least there's space here. Coppa. In Fiorenzuola downtown. Yeah, we got some issues with the kickstand because of the vibrations. The screws. The important thing is not to lose it along the way. You can't move this no more. We need a tool. I also want to get my hands on a Tesla. Fidenza. So, I got two keys from this really, really kind dude, so in case we get stuck, we can then take off the front wheel because I didn't have it at home. Thank you very much. Welcome. And now let's just apply the adhesive, the thread, to dampen the vibrations. Fixed. The last notch and a half. But we have actually covered 50 kilometers. With a battery. Feels like Switzerland. Bridge and Taro River. Red light. So, can we get to Parma? Sure. There's a McDonald's one kilometer away. Let's get there so I can change the battery. Come on, little one. Now that there isn't much left. I'm really into it. <laughs> After eating and changing the batteries, we decided to head straight to Parma because we still had a lot of time. Where are we, Mattia? We are in Parma, for Reggio Emilia. Straight ahead. Then go just straight, straight, straight on these bike paths along the Via Emilia up to Reggio Emilia. Well, today I saw a first person riding a cycle. Arrived. The hotel is pretty good, you know. Well, notice the completely straight road. Just straight ahead. About 92 kilometers on a scooter. A typical dish of the Po Valley. I haven't introduced you to my travel companion, Mattia Miralio, yet. I met him in Barcelona rummaging through garbage bins, but that's another story. Actually, he has been traveling the world for five years. No home, just with his body strength. First on foot and then by bike. From Turin to New Zealand, Iran, Nepal, Turkey, to the desert of Australia, Canada, United States, Mexico, Guatemala. I could sit here and talk about him for hours. If you're interested in his story, then check out his YouTube channel. And I also did an interview with him on my podcast channel, which I leave here below in the description. Uh, Ah, he also wrote a book, and who knows, maybe one day we'll see him with some documentary. But hey, enough talking for now. It was time to head towards Bologna, our very first major goal. Good morning. Good morning. Reggio Emilia, a city founded by Marco Emilio Lepido. Very Roman. And the route that we are taking is exactly the Via Emilia. All because of this Marco Emilio. I must say, well done, Emilians. Here everything is scooter-friendly. Modena, little break. Greetings to our friend Massimo. Yo, this is the best restaurant in the world. Hello, Massimo. Massimo. Do you remember me? It was from Gironde. Hey, yeah, that's right. A friend. <laughs> now you gotta try, though. Well, just push off, then give it gas with your thumb. <laughs> Great job, Massimo. Really good. <laughs> I am good, ain't I? Legendary. Go. Hey, thanks a lot. Really great. If you don't know him and don't know his story, there are documentaries you can watch. Chef's Table on Netflix. First episode of the series. And that's it. I'm just saying this. One of our prides abroad, you know what I'm saying. Great, great, Massimo. Ferrari Museum. But you know what? We got the scooter. But maybe we should change the scooter. Yeah, you know, it's like 45 degrees. Feels like 62, doesn't it, my friend? Passing through fields now. Thirty kilometers from Bologna. Amazing! Ah, uh, I can't feel my feet anymore. The thing is, I'm not tired, you know. But with the vibrations, other things, standing, the position and everything, the weight of the backpack and so on. Uh. Come on, we're almost there, gentlemen. Bologna! Now heading towards the center. The Tower of Bologna. Woohoo! Uh. Good morning, guys. Go away, jockey. <laughs> Will the sticker... Bologna, impressive. We found a tour guide. How do we get to Florence from here? So I'm afraid of the uphill. Because if for now, from Milan to here, you have only done flatland. The first uphill if you pass by San Luca is actually like this. And then I'm also afraid of the downhill. Tonight I've booked an Airbnb. Nice. <sighs> but in this period, you can find beautiful places for very little around the B&B. Just a quick reminder, with the link I left down below in the description, you can get a discount of up to 35 euros on your first booking at the B&B. And chill in magical spots. I need to wash. 
evening stroll in slippers. Delicious! Thanks for the itinerary advice, Mr. Luis. Most welcome. Morning from the scooter, and we follow directions given by Luis. The climb starts now. Well, I am just a little scared for the scooter uphill, especially both the battery and overheating. So, I touched the engine earlier. It's boiling. I don't want to overload it. I will just use it in normal mode, and I'll push myself with my feet. It's the only way. But it's steep. And it just keeps going up. So steep. Come on. Damn, Luis. Who made us take the steepest road, but more scenic in theory. Don't see any scenery here? Oh, yeah, I see. Well, I'd correct myself now. Scenery, amazing. By the way, I recover some energy downhill. We had already put in a lot of effort, but let me tell you this quickly. It was totally worth it. Beautiful views over all the Bolognese hills and especially those descents. But you know what? It's just really so damn awesome to zip around on a scooter. What a blast! We are making friends. Woohoo! So the idea of making this trip on a scooter is to actually tell about Italy, its beauties and everything you want, but also showing that now we are obviously taking it to the extreme, but very responsibly and with care. It's really interesting. He said he will see the video on YouTube. Have a good day. Enjoy your ride. There is a church in the mountain. Oh, so there's a church in the mountain. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, go, 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 go. No, but guys... Wait, what are we talking about? Wow, that's so beautiful. Wow, that's so beautiful. And just as everything was going perfectly and I was enjoying the view. The scooter won't turn on anymore, damn it. It won't turn on. I think it's overheated. The engine is boiling hot. In theory, it should go into protection mode. So we let it cool down and then it should turn on. At least I hope so. This is really bad. Okay, it's turned on. I am just keeping it in eco mode, you know, in case I have to push it. I can't take the chance of losing the scooter. I'll have to push it here. How's it, Matty? The situation is heating up. The situation is escalating. I don't know if you're hotter or my scooter. What's on your mind? <laughs> it's not mine, but it's his. Here's Mattia. Hello? <laughs> so, I am riding the electric bike, you know? It's got all the bike's perks, and all the scooter's perks. <laughs> oh yes, finally water. <laughs> Ready to go. We are loaded with water like camels. We were only a few kilometers away from where we were actually supposed to sleep, but we made the very beginner's mistake. Downhill, 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 follow the downhills, follow the downhills, get caught by the downhill, go to downhill. And when we realized it, it was already too late, you know? I admit. Really guys, we totally went the wrong way. Basically, we are going back down into the valley where the highway passes. So, now instead I am going down with the active motor brake, so I am recovering energy, you know? In order to recharge the battery as much as possible. Luis said we should actually be in the woods by now, fighting the windmills. Very well, sir. I am really exhausted. Do you happen to have a room available for tonight? We are two people. Sorry, sir. No hotel available along the road. And here these go by motor, no doubt about it, for sure. Even good? Hey, everyone. Good day, good life. Okay, we have completely changed the route. There's also a closed road. They make us take a huge detour. Really a disaster. Now there's a tunnel. We will never arrive. Well, it had to go like this. Hey, buddy. No doubt, we are actually an incredible team because I really do make your back shine so bright and beautiful. You know what I mean? And even today, we are still breathing on Earth. A highway. SP325. Oh, no. The windmills. We should have been there. Anyway, we finally found a hotel by some crazy luck in a village up ahead. And there's still about 20 kilometers to go. Come on, you got this. 
got plenty of battery. Hey, Castiglione dei Pepoli qui in Dici Sunset. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Damn! Just eight kilometers left, guys. Man, this day is just a complete disaster, you know. Man, it's like blinking red. The sun has now set. Battery is completely dead. Only five kilometers left. Fortunately. The other battery that I changed earlier ought to still have approximately 20 to 25% left. So quick emergency pit stop. I can't take it anymore. Goodbye. We are definitely going to make it. Go crazy last kilometer. Even the second battery is gone. Uh, I don't know how much is left. Here is the town. Come on, we are almost there, man. No, it can't take it anymore. It really can't take it anymore. Disaster. Yes. Wow, it took us a while, but we're here. Castiglione dei Pepoli. At 9.31 p.m. And now, mission accomplished. Sir. What do you think about the trip, Mr. Jockey? Uh, the last three kilometers. Yes, man. I would definitely say that most deserved. Yeah, surely. Dude, we were totally exhausted, but we made it. We totally conquered those mountains. And tomorrow is actually going to be all about going downhill. You get me. Today we are going to have an incredibly fantastic time. Wow, this is like totally mind-blowing. Wow, it's like really, 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 really amazing. Mm. Absolutely spectacular. And we finally arrived in Prato, feeling a bit dry and bike path along Vicencio. Wow. Good day. <clears throat> we arrived on the Arno. Well, it should be all bike path to Florence, and I also mean scooter-friendly as well. Florence, really amazing. That bridge is a bit old. You know, all I need to see is a cupola. Here it is. I would never have said it, but it's above all my expectations. Yes, absolutely. Well, Milan to Florence on a scooter check. Good job, scooter. Here we are at Ponte Vecchio. Finally made it to the Airbnb. Theoretically, we should have a pretty cool view. Camera. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow, what a spectacle. I can't just really believe it. After five days of really hard work, well deserved, I would say. So we have water and that's it. Warm. And all that remains after booking this Airbnb, for which we paid very little for, and I remind you again that the Airbnb link is in the description. Take advantage of it, because in these times, you can find very cool places at very low prices compared to usual. We were like, you know what, let's take a day off and just stroll through the Sasso di Dante, the Church of Dante, and the House of Dante. Dante on Dante. Atia, do you know Dante's real name? No. Durante. And how could we not take a tour of the Uffizi? So we enthusiastically did it with a really nice guide who expertly accompanied us in one of the most beautiful museums in the world, among the portrait of Federico da Montefeltro. The ugly one, with the strange nose, the spring and the birth of Venus by Botticelli. Giotto Michelangelo, Leonardo e il Caravaggio Tiziano. And there's like dozens and dozens of rooms full of things. So what do you do to stay light? You don't get some typical cured meats and a huge Florentine steak? No, especially since tomorrow it's not like you have to do more kilometers on a scooter. I also tried my luck with this fountain that is supposed to bring luck, but it didn't bring me any luck. It didn't fall. But does this fountain accept the octopuses? Well, anyway, we were at a good point. We rested our body and mind. But there were still many kilometers to Rome. Unfortunately, it's time to leave this beautiful city. You know we just got here from up there. Let's start this journey. 
And now we have to go over there. Unfortunately, the Po Valley is no longer there. Okay. My back. I'll explain this to you later. Shall we begin? This time, I didn't miss the scooter at all. This is Roman Gate. Direction towards Siena. Immediately ascended as if there were no tomorrow. And it's gonna be like this for a little while longer now. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Hello. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> this is the only place that is open. What gold? A bit of potassium. Look at the salami inside. Police of Tavernuse. This is American Cemetery. But how beautiful. We are basically going through the entire Chianti area. In fact, this is where the vineyards actually begin. I'm practically recharging the batteries downhill. Bargino! Look at the quality. But look here. However, it's new asphalt. I mean, it's a spectacle, it's a unique pleasure. Good job, Tuscans. For now. Let's give the scooter a little bit rest. I don't want to burn it out. Meanwhile, I'm also stretching my legs a bit. We're back again among the vineyards. Last little bit of the first battery. It's very hot. Come on, legs. Come on. Battery changed. Enjoy your meal. This is Mattia Maraglio's tactic to keep things cool. Let's see if it worked. The sock is wet because the water insulates. Ooh. Ooh. This time a beautiful typical salami because we are in fantastic places with vineyards and hills. And we stopped with no view just because there is a drinking fountain. I have to make my app for fountains. Anyway, it's incredible how fresh it remains. It would have been boiling hot, but what a delight. Okay, just put this clip. At last, everything's a corner of paradise. It's enough to appreciate the small things. Let's start again. My great party. Let's get going. But what a spectacle. We were finally in the midst of nature, amidst the Tuscan hills, with no cars, perfect roads, and nothing could stop us. In fact, the day went as smooth as oil. We are almost at Monte Regioni. There it is, in the distance. Let's go in to Monte Regioni. Wow, the hostel is like inside a church. And well, the hostel is completely full. And this would be the Via Francigena from Canterbury to Rome. And this time too, we had earned ourselves a nice typical Tuscan dinner. Enjoy your meal. They are for dipping. Such a little cute thing. So warm. I like it. I don't typically drink, but it's really such a typical thing here. How can we not eat it? It can at least. Good morning. In the end, we ended up in this very charming hotel not very cheap but it was the only one available from here to siena so if it doesn't have the throw look at that spectacle colassian china everything is so charming man we were so close to losing those documents what a disaster It's absolutely fabulous. You know, it's a bit cloudy day today. Basically, from here to Rome, we will take the Cassia route almost all the time. Actually, for all the roads and the more technical stuff, including any advice, especially if you want to travel by bike, go check out Matthias' channel, the video he made where he explains everything well. There he is setting up the camera like the serious YouTubers do. For the very first time, they suggested to go on foot. 
Because actually, there is a bit of a mess. Are we there? Beautiful. Isn't it? It's a sandwich with salami. This is another Roman gate. It's too cloudy. Good that it's cool, but bad because it might rain. But what stuff, guys? What places? What spectacles? But how beautiful. Rome, 215 kilometers ahead. I'm hearing some water. Oh god, it's rain. Not good. A mini rain shower passed. Now I'm changing the battery again. So, I need to give a little adjustment to the brake because it's not gripping well. I have worn out a bit of the pad. So this needs to be as close as possible. It's ready now. We managed to avoid the storm. Good like that. But what a place, guys. Montalcino. Way to Rome. That over there is our destination for today. Beautiful. San Quirico d'Orcio. This little village is so beautiful. We got locked out of the hotel. <laughs> With our baggage inside. Well, we made it. He put it under the stairs. Upon our arrival in Rome, a lot of Brunello. It is slightly fruity, which leaves you with that. Well, I won't go on describing it because it would bore you. In the end, we found the keys. We are in the hotel we have eaten. Tomorrow holds some big things for us. I have been wearing this shirt for eight days. And we are recharged again. Tonight, well, you know. Will be a gloomy day, let's see. Breakfast of champions. That is, the square is full of cyclists of things. But there ain't nobody on a scooter. Very characteristic. Rome, 183 kilometers. The goal was getting closer and closer, but nature still had many cards in store for us. Look, the sheeps. Wow, that's so beautiful. So many. With the shepherd up there. There are a lot. Then there's a big gap along the road. And finally, again drops of rain. Not good. All right, it's starting to pour now. We need to find a shelter. It's raining. Heavily. I am now sitting down from... Wet. So the scooter should hold up. Guys, it's raining out here. We are in the middle of the storm. We'll get to the next small town and then we stop because we can't keep going like this. Everything is going too well, damn it. Look, cow over there. Battery is holding up. Still one and a half bars left. At least it's not hot and the scooter is not overheating. You know, something might short circuit, but at least it's not overheating. Gentlemen, we are in Lazio. All right, it's raining once again. It's okay to get wet. It's okay that the scooter can handle it. But in storms like this, it makes sense to let it pass. We are under this fantastic canopy with other pilgrims. Scooter is totally safe and just charging up. And a little pizza? Very homemade. Uh. <laughs> Another day, did you have something to eat? I recharged half of the scooter, so I don't even change the battery. And now heading towards the south. Did you see? They're making the lines on purpose. I must tell you that. We entered Lazio and there's completely asphalt. Perfect. I don't know how long it will last. Climber in sight. Forget what was said. Hanging water. Very hanging. It's the last uphill. The scooter has conked out again. Well, anyway, somehow we are following the Francie Jaina. I just changed the battery and I noticed that. Look here. There is the burnt plastic. These are the connectors that go to the motor. Do you see? It doesn't seem like today's stuff. It must have been very hot up here. Now I'm interacting with the trees and the wind. Taking rest. I probably would never have ended up in this parking lot in my life. This slow travel thing is really like absurd. But how beautiful it is to have five bars. This is Lake Bolsena. It has its charm. It's the city of the Eucharistic miracle. But how beautiful the castle is. However, we wanted to stop in this beautiful Bolsena, but it's completely full. So we are going to a small village. We want to go up further. Five kilometers like this. That is the village where we will stay. Hey guys, check this out. Just a hundred kilometers. Away from Rome. 
It's just under three figures left now. We've arrived at the hotel. Today's ride was 84 kilometers long. Anyway, you can find all the routes we've been taking on Mattia Miralio's Strava. A hundred kilometers from Peter's Tom, hundred kilometers into our venture. Meanwhile, Mattia Miralio lost the wallet. These travelers. It's ironic, usually I am the disaster. And against all odds. But I haven't done any damage. But which Venus of Urbino? Good morning, Lazio. Shall we go for breakfast? My beard shows that we have been traveling for a while. Ready, set, go! And here we begin. Today we will go from Lake Bolsena to Lake Bracciano because then on the last day we have to enter Rome and entering Rome will be a disaster. And just as we were going calmly along a dirt road, yes, which by now no longer scared us. I had a little mishap and I fell on foot. Yeah, you heard that right. I didn't fall off the scooter. I fell on foot. When I was setting the iPhone in order to shoot. Man, what a disaster. 700 kilometers on a scooter. And I fall on foot. <coughs> ah, ah. A little scrape. Like children. But I who am ready for everything here. First aid kit. Surely it would have been better not to fall, not in such a stupid way, but it was a warning to remind me that danger is just around the corner, so I treated myself. Here it is. They're as good as new. And with my knee bandaged, I set off again. We returned to the provincial road of Terbo. We need to go a bit on the Magna. <laughs> Little Panzarotti. The wound is doing quite well. Today's goal is just to avoid getting hurt again. However, it's tough going. I feel the scooter struggling. At least my knee is fine. But what really worries me is entering Rome. The roads are really starting to turn into a disaster. Because the regional roads become highways. And the provincial roads become this stuff here. These are Beverly Hills. Anyway, this would really be the France Agena, the real one. The scooter has also run out of battery. We took shelter under this beautiful... Hazelnut field. Very beautiful. Nothing will stop us. All this fuss to avoid traffic. How nice the cross was placed incorrectly. We are stopped at the level crossing. Train is coming. Woohoo! And then we go. In reality, we discovered that we don't have to go that way. But over there. Now it should be all downhill from here. This is Lake Bracciano. See how beautiful it looks. And what are you doing? Aren't you taking a swim in Lake Bracciano? I would say that as the last evening. Last supper. To you, Jackie. Cheers. What a stuff. I think we picked the wrong time of year. I look like a highway worker like this. We even have a 2000s era television. Tomorrow is the big day for us. Good night for now. Good morning. We are ready. We are almost there at the goal, but we haven't quite arrived yet. The last few kilometers always seem harder. If there's also the crosswalk, it's the largest and most chaotic city in Italy. And what is this stuff? We are about 20 kilometers behind. We need some energy. Come on, yeah. I am ready for the story. You know, all the roads lead to Rome. Here it is, there at the bottom. We will pass it from above. And down here, guys, there was the Great Ring Road. Ring Road passed. It was much easier than expected. We thought we had overcome the greatest danger, but we decided to follow the Francigena and venture into the Insugarata Park. 740 hectares north of Rome, completely uncultivated. The Amazon Rainforest is in better condition.
Everything is perfect. We're entering Rome. And we are in these conditions. We really have to sweat out these last 10 kilometers. You see, we were in the middle of nowhere in Tuscany with perfect asphalt. But that wasn't the time to complain. It was the time to take the scooter on our shoulders, cross the stream and get through the mud. Overcoming the brambles, we then took a dirt path that led us directly to some wild boars. A mother with her piglets, dangerous as she was intent on protecting her children, but I turned off the scooter and slowly we also got past them. Great job, Rome. But it would take more to stop us. The only thing missing was sand, practically impassable for a scooter and an endless climb under the sun. And after three hours of battling with the Insugarata, we emerged as victors. I don't know where we are, but we are in Rome. But as it is known, what Rome takes away, Rome gives back. And after a not-so-nice intersection, we found a beautiful bike path. Everything else is now history. Let's go ahead and conquer the Rome. Welcome to Rome. Good morning. If Pugola. And there we go. We see it. Let's enter the colonnade. Beautiful daughter. Gentlemen. We have arrived at the Peter's Tom. We finally did it, guys. 11 days, 646 kilometers. It all started as a joke, but it turned out to be one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. Milan to Rome, on an electric scooter. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bowline, sail away from the safe harbor. And catch the wind in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. Guys, it was really a fantastic adventure. I absolutely don't recommend to do it on foot or do it by bike. Wow. Where are we? It's the Colosseum. All the work in progress everywhere. Mr. Mattia, thank you very much for putting up with me. And nothing, therefore, from Jackie. From our great Dalipatino. And from the Colosseum, from Rome, from Milan, Rome, and everything else. That's all. See you later. And I will be back soon with the upcoming interesting adventures. Jump, 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 jump.